Page and Steam Rhythm here with another Let's Play Dark Souls. In the last episode, we fought off the Titanite Demons in Sin's Fortress and the Last Giant. This episode, I've decided we are going to take one last trip back to the Undead Asylum. There's only one other thing we have left to do over there, and that is... that's what we're handling. So, yes. <laughs> Framped snoring. Yeah, I didn't really talk about it before, but if you want to wake Framped up, all you have to do is unequip an item. I usually unequip the left one because I usually only have one shield equipped at a time. And just give him a quick punch. Your punches don't do enough damage to make him run away or anything. So, uh, yeah. You know, usual stuff. Roll to get onto this. Barely made it that time. You know. Uh, either I'm getting worse with using joysticks or analog sticks or, uh, there's something awkward about playing this, but I'm playing this straight off my capture card software. Which, there's really not much lag for some reason on my computer whenever I do it like this. Like, I've actually recorded a few episodes like this before without any problems, really. For some reason, it's, uh, I can skip this. What am I doing? But, um, it's really not a problem. Really short loading scene there. But there's a reason I have my Yaito equipped. It's because we're going to be fighting the boss here that I said we'd fight last time. Ah. Oh, good. So, let me think. Um, I'm going to go to the bonfire back here before we fight this guy so I don't have to worry about, you know that pain in the ass of, uh... trip back that it would be to go from Firelink. I don't know. Maybe I'll get owned repeatedly again. But, eh. So, I'm using the Yaito because, like the like his cousin, the uh, Asylum Demon, he's weak to bleed. Let me see. I'm going to use the Crest Shield here. Granted, I don't think I can use it to protect myself from his attacks, actual attacks. And if I can't, then, you know, I'll just switch back to the Eagle Shield. Oh, really? You know what? Fuck them. I'm just going to take the swig and then jump down. So you approach this part. One of the game's optional bosses, the Stray Demon is the buffed up cousin of the Asylum Demon and the weaker younger brother of the Demon Fire Sage. He is one of two guaranteed sources of Titanite slabs in the entire game, the other being a lengthy and easy to miss side quest. You start off the fight by taking a hefty amount of fall damage, and if you're where I am in my vitality stat, this means that one hit from this boss on top of it is death. He sports an area of effect magic attack that is a nasty surprise if you're caught in its range. The best strategy is to get behind him, back off when he uses his magic attack, and then charge in with a bleed causing weapon such as a katana or a strong dagger. All of his attacks, save his butt stomp, are blockable. When up close, he uses either the butt stomp or magic attack, or he jumps away. Just make sure you are not under him when he goes up in the air. He's one of the harder bosses to get used to, but he makes for good practice before you head off to Lost Isolith. Good luck and happy hunting. and then I'd back off right away. That's the attack you want to be avoiding. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, sweet, I can go under his legs. Now when he does that, just back off and then run up to him and use your weapon. Shit, I didn't back away in time from that attack. Take two swigs to replenish my health. And I have to do that again. Ah. He likes to increase the distance between you and him. And that attack is pretty hard to avoid. You know, I'm probably going to switch to the Eagle Shield plus 10 if I don't... If I die in this fight. Which is looking pretty likely at this point.
Okay, come on, you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I was hoping you wouldn't do. Again, exactly what I was hoping you wouldn't do. If he hits me with this, I'm dead. And crush shield, thank you. Back off. Bleed effect, yes. Hopefully you can get him to just keep repeating that attack. Yes, 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 keep doing this. Yes, 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 I think I got him. I think I got him, guys. One try, I think I got him. There we go. All right. So the key to the stray demon, if you couldn't tell, was uh, getting behind him. And that's one of two Titanite slabs you can get in the game. The other one being uh, the Sigmire side quest. Or you can pick them up, or at least that's one of two guaranteed ones you can get. The other ones can be random drops from certain enemies. Extremely rare drop. I think the rarest drop in the game is a Titanite slab. You use it to upgrade either a piece of armor to its highest level or a weapon to its highest level of plus 15 or a lightning to plus 10 or a plus 5 rather. So, yes. Alright, so um, now that that's done, meet me back at Firelink. And we're back. So, the whole point of going to Firelink was so we could start upgrading our Pyromancy again, actually. Oh, hello there. Oh, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm going to purchase that from him so we get that last bit out of the way. Alright, uh, three more upgrades to do. 19,000. Okay, we're going to have to go through a good bit soon. Come back if you find anything We're going to have to come back if we want to take care of anything else. I probably could have used the Black Knight Sword plus five on that fight. It probably would have been a hell of a lot stronger. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. So, um, I guess with all that done, I'm going to go take care of some unfinished business with a certain undead dragon. So, you know exactly where I'm headed. I'm going to show the trip there, because I need space for the episode. Because I'm going to be going to Alabama and back tomorrow. And I live in Louisiana, if you haven't noticed. So it's not exactly an insignificant drive. But you know what? I volunteered. So there. I should probably have a stronger weapon. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use the Dragon Slayer Spear because it's meant exactly for this type of thing. Slaying dragons. Who knows? Maybe it's super strong against uh, undead dragons or something. I love its strong attack, though. That reminds me, actually... I can probably go ahead and take care of something else while I'm... Holy crap, is that an echo effect? That is an echo effect that you get from that. The reason I'm heading down this way is because if you remember that guy earlier who was all like, maybe I should do something about it. Well, he spawns down here. And two of your attacks apparently break his guard, so I mean, if you want to just... There we go. He's dead. I don't think he drops anything but a few souls, but yeah. There's actually another Firekeeper soul around here. If you go over there, but we're not going over there yet, because that's like the, new, the next area that we're going to be tackling. Like the next main storyline progressing area. And we're not ready to progress the storyline yet. 
Maybe next time, maybe tomorrow, but not yet. Not now. It'd be a little premature to attack it now. Don't you think? A little premature? A little, uh, a little crazy? A little something something? What am I saying? What am I even doing? There's the way back to Blight Town. <laughs> Let's go to Blight Town, guys. I have an idea. Actually, we're gonna have to go back to Blight Town eventually. <laughs> Let me make sure I have a good ring equipped. Let's see. Uh, uh, I got nothing. Wait, I don't want to use that. If I'm going to use a defense upping ring, I might as well use... You know what? I'm going to show what the Slumber Dragon Crest ring does. It makes it so that you don't make any sounds at all. So you're completely silent while you're using this. So you can literally walk right up to most enemies from behind and be, like, rubbing against their back, and they won't notice you. Let's see what this does to this guy. Shit. I'll meet you guys back here. Yeah, if you didn't notice on this file, we haven't gotten the other stuff yet. So, it's just kind of sitting there. Let me see. I also decided that I'm just going to pull out the Black Bow of Ferris, which has S to ha um, sat scaling, by the way. S dexterity scaling. And uh, I'm just going to spam arrows at it, because, you know, fuck doing it the normal way. You know what, I'm just going to talk through this and I'm not going to speed it up. I'm going to make you watch this the whole way through because I'm an asshole. And I'm kind of blanking on what to say. Well, boy, that would have sucked if I had uh, gone up and killed myself, wouldn't it? Let me see. The Black Pope Ferris, it's one of the few S stat scaling things in the game. And it's also, um, it's got the best range of any bow. So if you want to just, you know, spam, the great, spam that against someone, and I'm probably going to upgrade it to like plus 15 or something. You know what, I'm curious. I can just repair this thing afterward, but this seems to be the faster route. That's right, strong attacks from the Dragon Slayer bow. I wasted one. What's the edge of his range? What's the edge of his range? There it is. Yeah, this is actually a pretty simple way to take this guy out. Because you're completely safe, a good distance away. Okay, okay, it's about to break. But I can repair it because I have money. And it's still doing more than that bow was, so... Uh-oh. Okay, I guess it gets to a certain point where it just can't do it anymore. Which means that it's time for me to pull out Old Faithful. Well, I could also just continue doing this. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing this, because he's almost dead anyway. Call me a pansy, but you saw, you saw the way I did it earlier. So, you know what? Screw you. I did it for the dragon scale, man. Store a straight sword, dragon crest shield, and soul of a proud knight. I guess I should go ahead and show the rest of the Valley of Drakes since, I mean, I've got time. Sure, I'm partially just stalling because all that's left to do after this is 
upgrade of some pyromancy, which is going to require some off-screen grinding, which I'm not quite ready to do yet, and uh, other stuff. So the Valley of Drakes, as you might have guessed, it has Drakes in it. And they, like everything else, are very weak to your Black Knight stuff. They occasionally will drop Drake scale, uh, Dragon Scales. There's a humanity in that little crevice there. These, but these are some of the strongest normal enemies you see in the game, actually. So, uh, you know, approach them with caution. They have some pretty strong attacks. That one in particular is a bitch to fight because they like to just jump up in the air and start flying at you randomly. They flinch after two attacks. And they die in four two-handed attacks. So, you know, if you want to take advantage of that. I'm going to take advantage of the Black Boat Ferris and get this guy to aggro towards me. Sometimes you get a headshot, they stumble back. Yeah, here we go. Headshot. Come on. Come on, you ugly bastard. Their lightning breath has a surprising range. And the problem whenever they take off in the air and start flying is that sometimes you can get caught in your back by the lightning. And if you get caught in the front and the back, you get the full front of full brunt of the force of the attack. Christ, this guy's gonna make me like jump off the edge or something. Off of your fucking head, man. And there's no real point to killing the three back there. So what I'm gonna do is run forward, grab this, and run back. Because I'm scared of them. I'm very scared of them. Run away like a little bitch! Let's see, is he still walking towards me? Okay, he walked away. So yeah, if you come back up this uh, up this way, this is actually a uh, elevator that will take you back to the Dark Root Basin, where near uh, where you fought the Hydra. <laughs> that blur effect is hilarious because it's like incomplete. So there's like a part of the screen that's blurred and then just a sudden line where it's not blurred. Alright. Oh, I haven't even lit this bonfire. Jesus. So yes. Um, let's see. Reinforced weapon. Priscilla's dagger. It's at plus three now. I'm going to need five more dragon scales, I believe. Five or six to uh, get it to plus five, which is where I want it to be. And I need to repair. I'm gonna go ahead and repair everything. Uh, I guess I might as well repair my armor. I'm considering switching just straight to the th the uh, wanderer armor, actually, since I have that and I think it's a little better than the thief's armor overall. Offers better protection while still having the whole dexterity base going for it. You know, I keep saying I'm a dexterity base, yet here I am with this heavy weapon. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? I think that's enough for this video. So um, next time in Dark Souls, we will be... I will do some off-screen grinding, and um, I will upgrade the Pyromancy Flame plus 15, and then I will go to the Swamp and take care of some shit there, and then we might be able to start with New Londo Ruins. So uh, I will see you then. Bye.